What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Bowman Chrome Hobby Baseball 12 box case break. Figure, uh, random team number one actually just sold out. So 30 total spots, all teams in, all cards ship. This is Hobby Edition, so two autographs per box, 12 box case. Dice Roller, here's a customer name from Christopher Freeze down to Sean. And we got D backs down to the Nationals. And of course, uh, let's roll the dice. It's a four and a five, nine times to see who you guys get, guys. Five times on the randomizer for the names and teams. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Charles down to Corey. All right, nine times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Reds down to the Braves. Charles down to the red. Uh, Charles with the Reds. Narek with the Phillies. Charles, you have the Angels. Mario with the Brewers. Brandon, you have the Blue Jays. Brian Couch with the Marlins. Kurt, you have the D-backs. Christopher with the Astros. Narek with the Rockies. Sean, last ball with the Mariners. Charles with the Giants. Brandon, you have the Dodgers. Sean, you have the Yankees. Charles with the Twins. David with the Cubs. Zach Paul with the Rays. Thomas with the A's. Andy with the Tigers. Charles, you have the Red Sox. Miguel with the Cardinals. Corey with the Nationals. Brian Crouch, you have the White Sox. Aaron Clark with the Orioles. Derek, you have the Royals. Laurel with the Indians. Uh, Corey with the Padres, Dakota with the Mets, uh, Steven with the Pirates, Oliver with the Rangers, and Corey with the Atlanta Braves. So there you go. And remember, guys, there's a lot of new prospects in here that did, weren't really featured in the first Bowman Baseball earlier this year. So, again, these are prospects. You're taking a chance, high risk, but it could be a super high reward, guys. You know, could end up being a Mike Trout, could end up being a Luis Robert, you know, those people right there that are have uh, done pretty well early in their uh, MLB career. So, there you go. And uh, if you guys want to trade, this is the perfect time. Um, I don't know. Here is the checklist really quick. I know there's rookies for sure. But I, I can't say if there actually is any autographs. Uh, they have Chrome Autograph Relics. So there is Relic Autos of Gavin Lux, it looks like. So that's a good thing. It looks like there's just straight up rookies. There's Refractor Rookie Image Variations. And yeah, the Chrome Autograph Relics. And then uh, Bouchette, Refractor Rookie Image, the Autograph Relics, and just a Rookie. Yeah, the big one for the Rangers, guys, is that uh, Leroy. I don't even know how to pronounce it. i got to look it up. But um, Bayorn, Laura, uh, he was featured in Bowman Baseball. It's just a base. Um and I guess he is a huge one as well. I think someone said his base rookies were going for like, or base first were going for like 300. So he's, he's a pretty big one. But just overall, the, the the Rangers have so many prospects in their checklist. So I think at the end of the day, it's just because of that as well. They're like a three four hundred $400 pick your team. All right, so Nationals up for trade, Cubs for trade. Like I said, do a trade proposal of a team you may potentially be chasing. If not, we're going to close it um, so that way we can start. Acuna has a little brother in here? Really? Oh, for the Rangers, gotcha. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, we know how Ronald's turned out, so. That makes sense. Is he like is he like his older brother though? Yeah, 
Yeah, Luis Angel Acuna. Okay. Luis Angel Acuna is born in 2002. Dude's 18 years old. That's crazy. So, not bad. I'm looking at his stats where he played in the... What team was this? This was the DSL Rangers 1. So, that must be a minor league team, I'm assuming. He played 51 games, 202 at-bats. He had 61 runs with 69 hits. 11 doubles, 3 triples, 2 home runs, 29 RBIs, uh, 26 strikeouts, but average a 342 average. It's not bad. 342. So, of course, the name is there with his older brother doing very well. Um, but, of course, still... Still a young prospect at the end of the day. All right, David, do you want to do Cubs for Nationals? If not, I'm closing it, man. Yeah, exactly. And that's the one thing, guys. People, you can capitalize on this. He's Acuna's younger brother. You know, you can probably get good money for him now if you just don't believe I should invest into him and you just flip right now. And that's what a lot of people are doing. People are wanting to buy the Texas Rangers, wanting to buy the Roberts, and really just buy them just to flip. Now, there's customers in this break that are just buying just to get a good team and collect the players they're chasing. You know, same thing with pick your teams. But obviously, with this this hobby just exploding this year, the way it has, a lot of people are just using this as a uh, more of a little flip type. So, you know, if, if you don't know if you'll be really good, then I'm sure you get an autograph of his to sell as well just because of the name of who he obviously is a younger brother of and sell it and just move it along and get into, get into something else. Alright guys, I'm closing the trade window. Stick with what you got. So at the end of the day, you guys know how the prospects work in baseball products. People will invest a good amount into these guys because again, go look at what Bowman's first trout rookie otter or trouts are going for. I mean, just just a plain old first trout, you know. Just like I think uh, D. Porter said earlier, for every for every a myton, there's a trout, you know. So it's like that's what you're really hoping for, you know. He's getting that. We haven't really pulled anything crazy yet, even though we've been breaking for about two hours. This is only our third break, so I can't really say what the best pull is today because it's not over yet. Just start. Maybe ask me, ask Sean that at the end of the night at like 2, 3 in the morning and say what the best pull was and maybe he'll give you a better answer. <laughs> say these packs easy rip
All right, so I'm gonna rip the first six boxes, and we'll go through them, and then um, we'll go through the next six. But again, guys, continue to get your orders in. I'd love to do as much Bowman and Opulence or whatever's on the website as much until Joe gets here. So by the time I get done with this, it'll be in about like 25, 30 minutes. Joe will get here at around 1 o'clock. So you guys will pretty much have him for another two solid hours. Now, the HTA choice is a very quick break, about 10, 15 minutes. Easily squeezing a couple of those. Remember, that's only three autos. That said, no base cards, no nothing else, just straight up three autos. So, with HGA Choice, you get an extra 12 autos. You get 36 there, and you get 24 here. But, of course, Javi's always a fan favorite because you can chase the base chrome and um, <clears throat> potential colors as well. So, a little added bonus but for the people that just don't want to don't want to sit through a you know, 35, 40-minute break and just want to see the autos. Well, HGA Choice is definitely the break for you. And we're down to like three left. It's the last time I checked. So again, I started breaking here or going live around eight o'clock. So I was on. I'm gonna be on for five hours pretty much till one o'clock ish. Joe's gonna come on. He's gonna break till nine. Sean will come in. He'll break probably till like the early hours of like two or three, maybe later if it is busy. So buy early and often, guys, because potentially we're gonna be streaming for almost twenty plus hours. Really, if you think about it, so if you're not sure what might break, well, just know today we're going to be live for a pretty long time. Alrighty guys, good luck. Let's go with the first one. And we got Trey Harris Bowman's first to 250. Atlanta Braves with that one. Let me quickly just show you guys the final printout. So Braves, that's gonna go to Corey. We got a Vidal Brujan. It's 150 atomic. Farm to Fame, Johnny Bench, Refractor, that's a pretty cool one. Nico, Andrew Vaughn. Yvonne Herrera for St. Louis. Miguel Martinez. You got Sean Murphy to 499 refractor. 
Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. Obachet. You got a one per box shimmer of Marsh. Alright, so there you go. Next one. We got Nick. Kale. Josh Bell. Josh Bell, sorry. Pirates. Corey Kluber for Texas. Blue. Levi Kelly for the Diamondbacks going to Kurt. You got Noah Song. Jorge Mateo Shimmer. Jason Dominguez Chrome. All right, next one. We got Gabriel Moreno. Blue Jays going to Brandon. We got Marcus Simmons. Refractor. Jordan Rookie. Raw. It's just a prospect base, but I believe his auto should be his first. Hard as. And we got Luen Diaz for the Marlins. Green first. Brian Crouch with that one. We got Jesus Lazardo, blue rookie to 150 for the A's. Raleigh Fingers, farm to fame. Boba Shett, rookie. Another Jason Dominguez, man. This is just going to add up. We got Drew Evans. We got Randy Rosarena, rookie for the Rays, orange. Going to Zach Paul. Jorge Mateo. You got Justin Dunn to 150 for the Mariners. Bias. going on man we got a Marte yeah this is the random teams break now Rick. you got randomized the Colorado Rockies <clears throat> and uh, the Philadelphia Phillies Morning. We got Michael Harris for the Braves. You got Montero. 
for the Cardinals. Rotorer. We got Andres Munoz rookie autograph for the Padres. Luis Robert base. Isabel for the Kansas City Royals purple. All right, last box, and then we'll go to the next six. You got Colin Barber for the Astros. You got Devi Garcia for the Yankees. Pawson. Toglia. And we got Kevin Smith, Bowman's first gold for the Mets going to Dakota. AJ Puck, that looks like an image variation. That's very nice. Definitely an image variation. Oakland A is going to Thomas. So there you go. There's the image variation. Kyle Lewis rookie. Let me quickly just top load these autographs and bigger hits and then we'll continue on. HTA choice was down to three the last time I checked. I got about eight orders to go through. And maybe taking a sneak peek, we can kind of see did it sell out already. And looks like a new random teams is up on the website. Still at three left. Hobby still at seven left now. Or it's actually not seven left now, but yeah. A couple spots. A couple spots taken off. And people probably grabbing spots in the filler break.
What up, Bradley? How's it going, man? Happy Friday. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing monstrous just yet. Uh, we're hoping something nice in this second half of the case. Uh, this is our second hobby case of the night, or for the day. And then HTA Choice is down to three left. Or two left now, I think, so. Try to get some of the choice in as well. People tend to say that about Bowman in general. They say, oh, better color in, in Hobby Bowman and in uh, Bowman Chrome compared to Jumbo and HTA. But, I mean, I think there's never really a way to tell. Honestly, everybody gets different cases at the end of the day, right? They're not all the same. Yeah, it's all random, really. I think, if anything, people might say that because... Think about it, there's only what, 12, uh, 24 autos total you can get in a hobby, and HT you get 36. So, I mean, you have to fill in an extra 12 autographs. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't really, it's, it's just so hard to actually even start a conspiracy like that. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like with those Ben Ballers boxes yesterday and the day before. I don't know. We, we must have just got a hot shipment. I mean, I don't know. But there's just no really way to tell... And, like, kind of just say that, you know, certain people are, are certain things, you know, um, or they're all different or all the same. Because, I mean, I've seen people say that there was some big people breaking that Ben Baller yesterday and get, didn't get no color in, like, nine boxes, no inserts, no nothing. And yet, the boxes we got were having, like, five, six color cards a box, sometimes two die cuts. I mean, that's insane. Like, compared to what other people were saying. Yeah, that's what I was hearing. Not even one single color from the boxes he did. But, we were getting like five to six. At one point, we got eight colors in one box. It's ridiculous. The amount of hits we got from Ben Baller was nuts. And so many people are like, dude, wh where did you get this from? I'm like, oh, we got it from one of our distributors. You know, we got it from one of our people we buy from. And you know, like, oh, some, you know, some people came in and were like, oh... Sounds a little, looks a little shady that all of your boxes have all this. I'm like, dude, there's no way to pinpoint that. There's just no way that Tops can, like, send certain people certain boxes to say that they that they got the best. And think about it. This is the perfect example, too. I heard Ben Baller also was ripping some of his boxes. And his boxes weren't the best either. So think about it. Wouldn't you think that if there was somehow some way to send certain people the best boxes they would be doing it for Ben Baller himself to kind of showcase his stuff. You don't think they'd be sending him the hottest boxes? No. <laughs> Not even him got the best boxes out of there. So there's just no way to track and pinpoint any product. So all these theories, conspiracies, and stuff like that, that hobby's better than Jumbo or Choice is not the same. I mean, the difference is that Choice just gives you three autos and nothing else. I think if... You see more value in the base cards, of course, nowadays, because you grade them. Instead of a five ten dollar base card, they're about a hundred bucks graded PSA ten or, or BGS nine five. So, I guess in that sense, you potentially have more money in value when it comes to hobby, because you get the base rookies, the base prospects, plus two autos and potential color. But at the end of the day, there's no really way to say or pinpoint that, because everybody's just gonna get random boxes. But yeah, no, we. That's crazy. The Ben Baller boxes we've done on Instagram the last two nights, we did like almost 20 boxes and we sold them out and people want more. So I'm like, all right, well, I mean, I hope you still love them when, when we don't get all the six, seven colors in every box because we don't know if they're going to come back like that again. We might end up being like other people that legit didn't, didn't get any color. I mean, that's just the name of the game. But that was pretty amazing though. That we had all this crazy color. Alright, 
last box, guys. That's right. And usually when the two die cuts come out, it's because one of them is colored. But yeah, there was two die cuts, I think, yesterday for you. I don't know if one of them was colored or not, but it's pretty crazy. I mean, we pulled some heat, though, guys. I pulled a Boba Shett red out of five out of the Ben Baller. We pulled a nice die cut orange out of 25, Luis Robert. There was some really nice stuff that came out of there. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I got Christian Koss for the Rockies. Garrett Cole. Shimmer, Jeter Downs. And we got Dylan File. 250 purple for the Milwaukee Brewers. Marsh. And we got a Varsho gold for the D-backs when it occurred. You got Brenton Doyle, Colorado Rockies, that's going to uh, Narek. Alvarez, Kyle Lewis, Kyron Paris for the Angels. Shimmer, Alejandro Kirk. Will Holland. Campusano. Uh, boom, nice, man. I believe, though, we took out 10 spots and put it into a little pack filler. So if you guys were to sell out the last four, we need to sell out that one pack break at thirty four ninety nine of Mosaic. You'll see it in the title. It says 10 Opulence Random Team Spots. So we sell the four spots straight up plus the little filler where basically you can win a $100 spot for about one-third of the price at 35 bucks. So, once that goes, then we can break that tonight. Or, not tonight, but just in general, like right now. 
Willie Calhoun. And we got Riley Green. That's a nice one. He's a big prospect as well. Detroit Tigers. Going to Andy. And we got a red Shogo, which is a rookie. And that looks very nice with the Cincinnati Reds colors right there. Four out of five. Cincinnati Reds, that's going to Charles. Look at that, man. That looks nice. Luis Robert. Muller, shimmered to 99. Redman. Marsh. Labor Taurus in ninety nine. Our last three spots Curtis Terry for the Texas Rangers. We got an Atomic, Kyle Isbell, to 150 for the Kansas City Royals. Luis Robert, rookie. Adrian Morjon, refractor. Stever for the White Sox, prospect auto. We got Tog Leia to 250 for the Rockies. Forrest Whitley. All right, two left, guys. Hold Sizer. For the Rays. And Arcidus Aquino, that's a short print. Very nice. Little image variation. Cincinnati Reds having a good break, Charles. And wow, a gold shimmer, Jason Dominguez. We got a blue earlier, now you got a gold shimmer. 31 out of 50. Remember, you can only get his prospect chrome. Remember, it's not going to be a first, but I'm pretty sure it's still going to sell well. This would be his second tops officially licensed card. So I'm sure that's going to sell well. Peraza for the Yanks. Sean, nice break for you, buddy. Willie Calhoun Purple to 250. Marco Luciano, Bayron, Zach Collins for the White Sox autograph, one of Brian Crouch. We got Balazovic. White Sox autos. 
No Roberts, unfortunately, but some rookies, of course, that'll definitely make up some value right there. Sicto Sanchez, Purple Shimmer. All right, so let me go through uh, the autographs to top load them and then we'll... Uh, Do a little recap. From Redondo. Very nice. Represent. Nice, good for him, man. Hope he can make it. No, we have to see if he's down to come be in our store, but obviously with the pandemic the way it is, especially still in California, it's probably not going to happen this year. <laughs> but definitely for the future. All right, you guys, so here's our inserts, rookies, good prospects, of course, that will be top-loaded. These are one-per-box shimmers. So there you go. Here are some numbered cards for these teams. Right here. Some refractors, some blues. Orange, purples, refractors, purple, refractor, gold, varshal, purple, green, shimmers, atomics. There you go. That'll be top loaded as well. And then here are the autos, rookies, prospects that were pretty big. Barber, Dalquist, Collins, Peraza, Aquino, which is a image variation. I think I... Might have penny sleeved. Might have penny sleeved the base rookie so you can see it. So this is the base. That's the image variation. So I'm sure those are gonna sell pretty well. We got Hole Sizer, Stiver, Robert Base, Terry, Marsh Purple. I don't know why I top loaded that, but Redmond. It's gonna be top loaded regardless. Robert Base, Riley Green Blue. Holland, Doyle, Bile, Koss. That's an AJ Puck. That's also an image variation. So we got two of them. Kevin Smith, Bowman's first. Uh, Gold, Munoz, Robert Base, Harris, Dominguez Base, Evans, Dominguez Base again. The Juan Diaz to 99, Moreno, Dominguez Base, Kelly, Cal, 
Dominguez, Herrera, Harris Blue, Dunn Blue, Gold Shimmer Dominguez, and a Red Shogo. Four to five. So there you go. Appreciate it, guys. This was Bowman Chrome Hobby Baseball 12 box case break random teams number one. Again, number two is in the store. We can run another one back. Appreciate it, guys.